What are you doing? What are you doing, dear? What a pretty dear. She blends right in on the camera. You can barely even see her. Yeah. Baby dear. She's not really a baby deer. She's a big doe, but or not big doe, but like medium doe. Yeah. All right, baby dear. Bye. Well, guys, we're out at PK, setting up camp. It's getting dark on us. Getting it all set up, you know, doing our thing. Just is doing the air mattress. We got a pretty cool little spot here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, fish just splashed. We're out checking out the water, just setting up camp, and we found out that our campsite come with, comes with our very own duck. We're gonna name him, we always do standard names. Let's call him Robert. That's Robert the duck. So classy, they gave us a duck. <laughs> there's Mrs. Deer. Looks like there's one back there too. Two does. Hi, pretty girls. We're just setting up camp. What are you guys doing? Just eating? Oh, there's a couple of does back there. Oh, they didn't like it. That's so cool. I just love deer, dude. How pretty girl. How pretty girl. Okay, so we're currently having a conversation about, we're currently having a conversation about black marlins versus Virginians, all right? Yeah, and even furthermore, we're actually having a conversation whether or not we should be filming this or not. Two. About the two. The conversation. But my point is, all right, so we did reviews for Black Marlin. We did reviews for Virginia's twice, right? I do love Virginia's at Port Aransas, you know what I mean? Good stuff. But were they rated number one? No. And the reason why is like, Virginia's has certain items perfected. Their king crab, perfected. They have their calamari, perfected. But are they the best seafood restaurant? No, because they don't nail their fish, dude. That's the thing. Black Marlin nails their fish, but Virginia's does not. I've never had a problem. Have you eaten their fish in a long past time? No. So that's the point. That's what I'm saying though. We don't, I don't even know that Virginia, I don't think I've had fish in Virginia's. Every time we go there, I eat crab or like I eat king crab. I'm just saying, talk about fish, fins, fucking fish, fins. but. Dude, I don't okay. know. Anyway, I, I'm a toss up, dude. I'm like either Virginia's or Black Marlins. Bitch. But I think these steaks are already, man. <laughs> These sticks are about ready, man. Yeah. But the conversation currently, which could be right or wrong, and who knows. Steak is extremely high in protein. Vegetables are extremely high in vitamins. Yeah. Neat. So were we made to eat it raw as human beings? We made to eat it raw. Should we not be cooking it at all? We could eat raw meat, raw veggies, a I've salad, heard, which we kind of do. But like, what about the meat though? I heard that like the more meat's cooked, the less protein it holds or carries that you get. The more the meat's cooked. Same with veggies. The more the veggies are cooked down, That's the less. True nutrients it holds that's true so it's like are we supposed to eat it all raw this is literally why we don't live 200 years old anymore it's because we cook all our food is it because we cook all our food <laughs> i'm so scared i'm 
<laughs> the vegetables were cooking and the meat were cooking. Should I be scared? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Jimmy's being he gave me no pretense at all so what are you doing cooking your foot don't cook your foot it's the don't cook your foot it's a bad idea we're not gonna eat your foot that's disgusting I need to go take showers. You need to go take shower. <laughs> yeah, you do need to go take shower. You dirty dude. You. you are dirty. Go take a shower. God damn it, Tutu. God damn it, Tutu. Go take a shower. You're not. You're dirty. You've been driving for two and a half hours and then you're saying you can't, Tutu. You're disgusting. Just like me. You need to calm down, take a shower. Let's go find a shower. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are out at uh, Possum Kingdom State Park this morning. She got to stay over there, GD. Oh, we're done. Okay, all right. Good morning, guys. We're out at the uh, Possum Kingdom State Park this morning. Um, trying to catch some fishies. We camped overnight. It's super freaking cold this morning. Fog everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and catch some striper or something. You can see the fog in the background there camps right up there yeah let's do this all right guys we're about to eat breakfast so we gotta feed robert got some yummy corn for the carpies robert are you hungry are you hungry robert you want a snack there's your snack robert happy <laughs> breakfast <laughs> all right now it's time to cook we got some corn out for the carp just because we're just cooking, so we figured might as well have bait in the water, you know? See if there's any carp around here. And now we're off to cook. Alright, so Robert is kind of approaching our area, hoping we have more corn. He's like, you guys got any more of that shit? Damn. Robert, go home. Well, this is his home, of course, because he comes to the campsite. He literally found the can of corn that we were using for the carp, and Jimmy had to go tell him to stop eating our ca our corn. <laughs> he goes, well, he starts walking out there, and he goes, hey. <laughs> That's awesome. So, we've been working on our health lately, losing weight and stuff. So, we're doing turkey bacon for the first time today on the grill. Kind of weird, but it should be good. <laughs> Dude, I messed up big time because I forgot a skillet. So I'm cooking the bacon directly on the grill. And then I literally took off the ash, ash catcher off the bottom. And we're going to use that to cook our eggs in. Because that's the only option. <laughs> Nailed it. This is the aftermath of us cooking eggs on the pan. It was not very graceful. Not a pan, but yeah. On this non-pan pan. This is what we came up with. I don't Check know, it out. We took it off. That's the ash catcher. Of course, we cleaned it and washed it. But yeah, we set it up here. And that's what we used as our skillet. Because you got to do what you got to do. You got to handle it, you know? Oh my God, you got to be kidding me. Jimmy just got his first bite and he had a fish on. And literally, as I loaded the camera, you saw the splash. He spit him, dude. James, do better. <laughs> nice. Do it again. Just do it again. Wait. It's like a stick or something. Got it. 
Once they get in there, they're really shallow though. Maybe we should pull one of our lines in closer. That is really disrespectful. Jimmy had his first bump. Water, try to save it. Robert's eating our excess corn. <laughs> We were running, we were laying down in the tent. We're in socks. Got you a carpy. Oh. Oh, no. Nice, dude. Wow, it's pretty big. Just get him up on the grass. Okay. So out of breath. Nice. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, so we want to take a nap for a minute and then asleep. We are bells going off. And this dude was hooked up and we're like sailing down this little mountain <laughs> of our campsite. Well, here, let me turn. <laughs> we were coming down this hill here. Me and her both wiped out as soon as we got we down here. Paul, <laughs> trying to get the pole. Somebody's got the phone's in my hand. Someone's got to get the pole. And <laughs> we nice. landed him. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. Without shoes, I am going to do this release. <laughs> yeah, dude. Got the socks. <laughs> Nap time catches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just hit North 40 and got some large minnows to take down to the dam with us. So hopefully this pays off. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, we're uh, we're headed down to the dam right now. So my theory is like we don't have a boat right now. We're gonna get a boat this year, but this time of the year, you know, the fish like to get in deeper water. So I kind of felt like if we tried to like fish the dam and hit the dam, that we might have some luck back there, you know, because the fish are trapped back there. And it wasn't all that long ago we were here, and I literally saw like a 30-pound striper back there. So fingers crossed we can you know link up with something good today. But yeah, about to pull up to the dam here in just a minute. Yeah. Under pressure, no more time. Can we make a move? The PK Dam, guys. Yeah. Dude, I am so stoked right now. I just hope we really hook up with a nice striper. That would be so freaking epic, man. It's so pretty out here. About to make it happen. Feeling pretty good right now. Feeling optimistic. All right, guys. So we're here. We made it to the dam. Um, there's like literally nobody here right now. I'm seeing some huge gizzard chat and stuff swimming around in the water. Anyway, might go get the cast net and actually catch some of those and use those for bait. You know, we got the large minnows. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked. Need to get rigged up. Let's do this, baby. Yeah. Chelsea's on. Big fish on. I literally just knocked it out. <laughs> Not a big fish, but a striper. You got a striper. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. First striper in the area, dude. First time I've landed anything. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. This is a little kind of big for boat swinging. Okay, here. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, buddy. That's a decent striper, though. Here, grab him. <laughs> okay. Just lip him. Wait, hold on. Okay. You got it. Come here. All right. I'm trying to lip him. There okay. you go. Whew. 
Dude, that was literally in seconds. I'm li I literally tossed it. I think it was maybe three to five seconds before he smacked it. Do oh. we have those minnow ones on a bobber? I mean, a bubbler? Yeah. Okay, cool. Dude, <laughs> nice. that's not a bad striper. That is not a bad striper. Dude, I'm yeah. so psyched. Hell yeah. I knew we needed minnows. I said that last time. You can go back on the video. I was like, we gotta have minnows, bro. I knew that's what would kill it. Five seconds, like literally five seconds. What the hell? Awesome, oh, yeah. babe. Heck yeah, dude. Yay, guys. Let's get to fishing. Yeah. As soon as I landed that fish, Jimmy's like, oh my God, we're going to like have an amazing trip. But like there's just this unlucky thing where sometimes when you land the first fish within 10 seconds, you don't get another fish. But this area is so populated. I'm just really hoping this is one of those times we just have a really great fishing experience and we don't get skunked after the first fish. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Not gonna work, but Jimmy's gonna try to net the gizzard shad because there's so freaking many of them. <laughs> Dude. Got us another striper. Maybe. Actually, what is that? Oh, it is a striper. Yeah, it's a striper. You got that 30 pick, 30 pretty thick line. Ooh, shit. I got him. Yeah, there you go. Hold on, hold on. It's not the proper way to whip you. I'm trying to get it right. All right, baby. That's a good boy. That's a good boy you are. All right. Woo! Ow, that was mean. <laughs> mean boy. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're real skinny. You can tell, like, they're hungry, man. It's yeah. like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We got here at, like, 2 or 2.30 or something like that. Like, they're eating, man. Yep. All right, let's let them go. Let's do it. Yeah, dude. All right, it's number three. Yeah, I just saw him bow one over. Of course, that pole's really lightweight, so. Super lightweight. I don't know how big it is or not big Hard it is. Hard to say. This, this pole is, I think, $20 for the rig. <laughs> not my best pole, by a mile. Uh-oh. Nah, he's not. Okay. Here we go. All right, I would try to lip him. Here there we go. you go. Thick lip. Hold on. Oh, got it. Go. Okay. Well, you know, a lot of girls don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's number three, guys. Nice. He's pretty good. He's pretty he's, good. He's decent. I'll take him. All right, let's let him go. All right, guys. So, yeah, man, we're getting on them striper. We've got a few now. It's freaking starting to get about bite time we're almost there not quite but um yeah dude it's stoked it's super hot out here though it's warm for a uh, almost january day wouldn't you say cheat i'd say so pretty toast yeah it's weird because it's freaking freezing this morning at camp so freaking cold. and now we're out here and we're like getting roasted but whatever roasted it's worth it man it it's is 100 percent worth it, worth it. Getting a striper. <laughs> this is on again man She's killing it right now. I can't tell what that is. It's a largemouth. Oh, wow. Hi, baby. I didn't expect you. Bring him over towards you. What are you doing over here? Come here. Don't do it. Oh, I choked it. Yeah, and you had that for a minute. I was like, we, we couldn't figure out where my bobber went. We thought he was just up against the sun. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. I see the, I see the fire. 
All right. Okay. Well, we'll be right back. We're gonna get this hook out. Trying to remove the thing from my large mouth, and Jimmy got on, so he's like, <laughs> I still gotta handle that. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. Here we go. Okay. Just don't step on my large mouth. <laughs> Sweet. Just get him in, babe. Yeah, well, the that's awesome. Well, it's about time you got in the game, babe, too. <laughs> Kept messing around with freaking lures. I was like, babe, I'm like, I'm not messing with lures because last time we were here, we threw the tackle box at these fish. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I gotta lip him, dude. It's gonna be hard. You want me to net him? Get the net, get the net. Get the net, okay. Here you go. All right. Whew. Get him, babe. Oh my God. Dude. How yeah, he's decent. Oh, watch out for the fish. Where's he at? Oh, he fell, okay. Okay. Wow. That is probably the biggest striper you've ever caught. Hell. Oh, he got me good. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. He really got him up. Dude, check that out. It's a big striper, bro. Dang, dude. Dude. Sexy. Sexy fish. Dude, we gotta measure him. I'm pretty sure he's your biggest. Look at the light shining on him. Stunning. That's a good fish. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, that's what we came that's for, good. boys. Yeah, right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> I knew the minnows were going to do it, dude. I just knew it. I knew they'd bite him, man. Dude. All right, we got to get this guy All measured right. up. All right, let's get him measured up. Let's do it. Dude. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. I'm what you got? Try to fold the tail. Yeah, and he's kind of arched a little, too. Tip of the tail. Yeah, I need a flatter. Yeah. Well, why'd you put him on the net? That, hold that. Okay, here we go. Tip of the, tip of the tail. tail. All right, I'm at the tip. 26. 26. Heck yes. It's a chunky one, too. Heck it's the yeah, thickest dude. one of the day so far. Heck yes. All right, let's get a release here. Get up. track record so far. Hopefully we don't lose any in the future, but I'm pretty happy with the day thus far. And uh, I'm pretty sure that was Jimmy's PB. So that's pretty dope. Maybe one day he'll get a bigger PB than me though. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably was, but it was close. It's hard to say, yeah. but yeah. Um... You've caught, I think you've caught one other that was, I know you caught a 25 over off of Whitney. And, I, and then when we fished with Clay, you caught some around 24, I think. So yeah. But yeah, I'm super glad we came out here. Um, it was Chelsea's idea to get the minnows and then it was my idea to come here. I'm like, this is gonna be a great winter fishing spot because the fish can't go anywhere. They're essentially trapped in this gigantic pond. I was gonna say, uh, the, one thing, the one thing about fishing is like a lot of it's troubleshooting. You guys know, because you fish. But it's like troubleshooting. I'm like, last time we threw the tackle box out here, I'm like, something's gotta give. So I was like, maybe minnows is where it's at. You know what I mean? Just and you know, give it a whirl. Here we are. And Jimmy's on. Heck. Oh, that's not good. He's wrapped around some rocks. Not really what you want. Okay. 
Here we go. Really? Yeah, I'm like. There oh, go. there he is. Wow, you got him. Wow, that was difficult. Oh, look at him. Little guy. Yeah. Littlest one of the day. <laughs> but he's cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fishy. Yeah, Ooh, so pretty. Uh, I'm about to go Goku. Leave all my head is red like old news. Yeah, trying to get the green like it's so fools. Couldn't take my style and now you so blue. Yeah, now we don't even know you. Your hometown, we don't even go to. I'm not gonna lie to you, Port Aransas this time kind of like really had me a little down. It's like we usually kill it. And I did get a sick fish in Port A, don't get me wrong. I got like a pretty good sized catfish for a sail, fit, sail fin or whatever. Um, but yeah, it feels good to be, to be catching some nice ones in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much game for your league. I'm Hussein with speed. I'm Hussein on beats. Legendary of everything. I'm not a greedy person, but I do like catching fishies. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, <clears throat> we just missed a couple, but yeah, hopefully we can get hooked up on another one before we go. Yeah. Yeah. You got one? Wow. All right, I think we need to go down to two poles. Yeah. All right. That's literally four in a row. Yeah, it's not or good. Five. It's under, but there you go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Oh my gosh, mine's on too. Here's my largey. Jimmy's not gonna pull his in. Oh my okay. god! Hi, little tootie. Look at him. Isn't he the tootest? Tootest little tootie. This one isn't a monster, but he does pull. All right, I'll get you off in just a second, buddy. I'm so sorry. Jimmy's got to land his fish. Yeah, I was honestly expecting mine to be a little bigger than it was, but, oh, wow. Well, it was a little striper. Yeah. He was decent. Sweet. Guys, biggest catch of the day. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss him back. <laughs> Monsters. Monster catches. Large mouth. With the waffles, fam. <laughs> Just popped off. Dang. Bomber. Bomber. We only got a couple more minutes, so I would like to land, but honestly, I said I'd like to land another one. We already landed three after that, so I'm not gonna be mad if we don't, but. Yeah, we're running out of light, and we have actually, it's been a long time since we've eaten today, so we're getting pretty uh, hangry. hangry and weak feeling. We need some hydration and some food, so. We're about to call it, head back to camp, cook up some yummy food. I just want to start making more of a present. Well, that was a super fun fish. I'm so glad you guys got to join us. We're about to wrap it up because it's getting dark and we got to hike back. Um, but uh, yeah, we landed, I couldn't really tell you. I know I got two largemouth and then a lot of striper, however many it was. Um, really like this dam out here. I guess it's a pretty good winter spot for fishing. So we will definitely be back again. Um, we're looking forward to getting a boat in the next six months. So we're excited about that. Get a boat, have a lot more action, dude. Like there's a huge difference between fishing on a boat and fishing not on a boat. Oh, I'm exhausted from today. <laughs> it's been fun though. All right, peace out guys. See you next time. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh. No. Oh, we lost the oh, last fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. You did it. I don't know if he just slammed it again or what just happened there, but... <laughs> Little largey, that's largey number three. While we were packing up, about to leave, and uh, we landed this lunker. That's this a, big ass lunker. That's a PB right there. Buddy. <laughs> Look at that. He's got to weigh a whopping half a pound. <laughs> Toss him out. Goodbye, buddy.
Dude, we're walking back. There's a bunch of wild goats. There's wild goats. What the hell? I have never seen that. Holy crap. Oh, there's the bit boy. That's the billy goat. He's got a herd of, he's got a herd of females. Do you see that's the billy goat right there? The big one? Oh, they're so cute. Are they really just wild goats? Sometimes the males are aggressive. We need to be kind of careful. I'm pretty sure they're wild, dude. That is so crazy. Oh, there's another billy goat. Crazy. Um, I, I did not expect that. Yeah, they're straight up wild goats, dude. That goat, that's a big goat. Just for the record, male goats are usually kind of aggressive, so this is not a smart idea, but I'm trying to keep enough distance. How weird is that? They're just wandering around. I wonder if someone owns them and they're loose or if they're just like random goats that live here, just out and about. Just munching away. Wow. Bye, goaties. We'll see you later. <laughs> That's wild. All right, we're off. Oh yeah. We threw some minnows out while we were cooking. <laughs> nice. Night fishing. Look at skunk. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god, oh my god, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Friggin' gnat flew in my mouth. Psycho. I was literally like a foot from him for real. I was like running down quick, you know, and he was like, ah! And then he started running. I'm like, oh my God, that's a skunk. Zucchini.